everyone welcome to watch it paint it in this video super, super quick video really it's kind of like a review but it's not going to be and it's kind of like an unboxing but there's nothing to unbox so the only reason it's not going to be really like a review is because this is brand new and i don't really know what to class these videos as it's kind of like here's a product do you know it exists i can't tell you if it's great yet because i've not used it but i just like if you watch the content on the channel you know that i use a product for like a year if not two years before i bother reviewing it and that's not great if you want to know something exists so i'm just going to do this and in a, in a year's time i'll probably be able to review it now this is the rgg precision nippers so that's red grass games they're the guys that make the paint brushes that i use currently at least and they make that everlasting wet palette which I've got loads of stuff on top of, but it's right here. So you can see that I use the stuff because it is around my desk within arm's reach. Now, these are some precision nippers they made. So normally I'm using my Army Painter ones, which just look like this. And these are precision ones with a fancier handle and marginally larger. Nope, about the same size. So the first thing I would like to say is if like myself, you have I've just got a knife, maybe you haven't even got a knife, I used the knife for three years before I got a pair of these nippers and you can do it with a knife, but what a difference a pair of nippers makes. If you've got anything to cut, get a pair of these. They're not particularly expensive, but I'll move on to this version shortly, but I think the Army Painter ones are sort of 10, 10 pounds, whatever that is in dollars, 15 sort of thing, maybe less. And you could probably get them from you know dollar stores, pound shops get some definitely have some now obviously the cheap ones might wreck your uh, sprues a little bit but they're just so much easier so much safer than using a knife and i didn't realize until i got mine i'm just like why didn't i get this three years ago now let's talk about the precision nippers a little bit more so these are for plastic miniatures slash model kits only it doesn't say to cut metal they're three millimeter uh well that means i guess the blade clean cut cut and they're single blade again don't really know what that means, but there is a huge amount of text on the back, but the long and the short of it is, don't cut at the very tip of the nippers, use only for plastic, don't drop on the floor, uh, use the protective cap, which sounds great, and keep the tool away from humidity. So that one's pretty awkward with the current humidity in the UK. Anyway, let's open it up, so that opens super easily, barely an inconvenience, that is that's slick. And then, so the first thing I notice about them, like I say, I can't really review, but they've got a cap. My Army Painter ones do not. There is nothing, by the way, I've got no complaints about my Army Painter ones at all. And the only thing I might say is there's no cap. They just sit like this all the time. They take up more space than they need to. And there's a chance of just jabbing myself on the tips. So big, big plus already. I should mention the price. These are expensive nippers. They are 30-ish, not quite, euros. And I thought that was insane amounts of money for a pair of nippers, but I realized that the Citadel ones are almost the same price. There's a few euros in it. So to anybody else, this might not be a revelation, but some nippers are expensive. So these are particularly expensive ones in my opinion, but they might be the best. It's like the wet palette. I think that wet palette's expensive, but if it's the best wet palette, it is what it is, right? You have to pay a lot for the best of anything. So first thing, cap fantastic and then the second thing is that comes off really easily and goes on really easily so that's very very nice that's great so that's a good start can't jab yourself oh they are sharp on the tip i was going to say they look kind of blunt on the tip but they are sharp so you could jab yourself there but not too bad what else have we got then we've got the handle that's yeah that's nice that feels it's not soft but it's slightly soft as i'm compressing it it feels it feels like if you're using this a lot it wouldn't wear out your hands as much as not having this slight amount of rubbery padding here. It's got some rubber underneath and then a little bit of grippy material. It's got the logo on. Did I mention that? RGG. And the logo on is etched onto the cutter itself as well. What's this little bit of metal here for? I think it, I think it mentioned that, you know. Let's have a look. I'm sure I saw that. <laughs> Use the protective cap for optimal safety. I would agree with that. It sounds good inset screw for blade protection is that the inset screw for blade protection what does that mean or is that the, oh, that must be the inset screw so it stops it going any closer together i think possibly spring spring mounted i think most of them normally are i'm not quite sure what that's for looks like it does something but i don't know what something I'll, if i ever find out i'll let you know so this 
spring back to like the same place every time. That's quite good. And that's it, guys. There's, <laughs> there's not a lot more to say about that. They're a pair of nippers and they're, it's coolly branded. And I do like my things being branded, so there is that going for it. Let's give it a try, though, because that's, that's about the only thing I can do, right? So I've got this cool sewer base that was from the Acid Drop hero box that I've just opened. And that's what reminded me I had these. So 50 mil base and it's all on a sprue. Spree, sprue, it is sprue, right? I always feel like it's not written like that though. So here we go, I've got the base to stick it all to. And then let's try out these nippers. So it says not to use the tip. So let's get it properly in there and flat against the, wow. That like cut even before I applied pressure, did it? Yeah, totally did. That was that was hard to explain how that felt. That was sensational. Wow, oh, it's like it's like butter, honestly. Not that it was particularly hard with the nippers, but I'm used to doing it with a knife before this. But these are making it incredibly easy. Let's see how flush they're getting. A little bit of oops, sorry, am I wandering off cameras? Apologies, guys. That's pretty good. Need a little bit of filing, a little bit of filing there. So it cuts close. Definitely need to tidy them up, but that was, it was just so easy. Is this just a really easy sprue? No, I can't do it with my hands. It's hard enough that I need a pair of nippers to try in here. Oh, it's just like so, so easy. I can't believe I used to do this with a knife, guys. If you're using a knife, get out there and get a pair of cutters. Um, it's just, oh, the knife was just so, so fiddly to get in here and then you always needed a cutting board that's another thing luckily i normally have my cutting board around so it's a non-issue let's try using it upside down mm, not sure about that just trying to cut really close this time see if we can get a nicer finish it's not bad it's not bad Oh, that one came off all by itself. Let's just for comparison, let me just try the army paint ones. Now these have had quite a lot of use and I've been cutting metal with it because that's how I roll. I was doing my gardening. Come at me. I've not treated these well. Oh, it's, I keep going off camera. Oh, this is really fiddly, sorry guys. But that was noticeably more difficult. Not like end of the world difficult, I must, I must stress that. By no means is it difficult to use these, and I've used them a lot, so they have had some wear and tear. I don't even know which bits you're supposed to cut. Is that just a piece of scaffolding? Do I need these little, do I need these little bits? I'm gonna cut it generously while I work out what I need later. I don't even need those little legs. So I don't know if you can hear it in the in the, uh, in the old microphone ruski. They def definitely don't feel as precise. I, I, I didn't, like it says precision nippers on the packet. I didn't really uh, fathom that, but I can get a lot, lot closer with those. So that's, you know, not lying about that. Again, I'm not sure where to cut. I'm gonna cut generously in case I need this bit. I'm sure I don't. I'm still gonna cut generously. No, I'm not. I'm going nice and close. Oh, it makes a big click. That's what I was alluding to, if you guys can hear that. It just feels like it's a lot more effort for these ones. Which is fine, you know, it's not it's no effort for me. I have to press slightly. Yeah, I'm definitely pressing harder. It's not going through like I wouldn't describe it as butter. I just say it's a quick pinch and the thing's cut free, so it's certainly it's not particularly difficult by any standards. Let's just switch back for the last two with, with the precision RGG nippers. Let's just try one last thing. <sighs> it's so quiet because it's no effort for them. They have done a good job. I mean, I said I can't really do a review because this is all I've done with it, but you've seen me do it live and there's a notable difference. Now, there's a huge difference in price. This is three times the price and I can't tell you if it's three times better in, in one use. Oh, it just, it's so smooth clicking this one. This is a real effort in comparison, not an effort by any standard. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's all, that's all I've got at the moment. I just wanted to show you this product. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link as well, actually. I'm now, uh, I've now got an affiliate link, so if you do click my link and buy any stuff from Redgrass Games, it does support the channel. It makes a teeny tiny bit of money. Don't even know how much it makes. I didn't bother reading. Probably should have done. But, you know, I'm only going to... So I should mention that these... Oh, I should have said that at the start. They did send me these for free, and that's my 
make me bias but I try not to be and I try and be honest and that's why I try and use things for a long time before before I tell you anything about them so these were free and for free they're absolutely amazing I'd be raving about them if they were free but they've got a price tag it's worth bearing in mind but today they are actually the best best nippers I've used but this is my this is <laughs> these are these are the nippers I've used and this one says it can't cut metal whereas I've done gardening cutting chicken wire with these ones so Depends what you guys need to do. Probably need to compare them to the Citadel ones. I need to get a hold of them. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to know that comparison at some point. But yeah, thank you all ever so much for watching. And if you've got a pair, leave a little review below so people can hear it from other people and see what they think in case you've used it for longer and got a stronger opinion on them than I have. Thank you all ever so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon.